Um, I think this introduction may have got wiped off, so I'm going to do it again. These are your piles today. Um, your reading is their thoughts versus their feelings. For you, you've got three choices. The first one is first love. The second one is alpine meadow. And the third one is sarsen's wink. And the third pile really is a sarsen's wink. The spinnaker there, it's basically, it's a saucy wink. So yeah, take your choice. I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you enjoy the reading. Bye. Hi there, pile number one. Um, I've had a couple of um, camera problems this morning. So I have started your pile before. So what I've got here, um, I'll just go through it with you. This is their thoughts. This is their feelings. There's a general feeling here of somebody, your person is in a transitionary period in some way, mentally trying to adjust to either a difficult relationship or a time in their life where they just get their head down and move. So this person is making decisions mainly from their head rather than their heart. There's a feeling here that's how they function anyway, to be honest, but there's a very complimentary view of you. This isn't a but and trying to um, trying to find a way to say something nice. This is a really nice spread, but somebody who I think is quite rational. You've got here the Six of Swords initially, um, and this is the thought pile, that's the feeling pile here. The Six of Swords tends to give me a feeling of somebody who's on a journey, mentally on a journey, and a healing journey. Something may have happened, maybe to do with relationships, maybe to do with just keeping their head down and trying to survive in, you know, in their life in general. Just off to work, coming back, that type of feeling. Um, maybe a little bit of sadness there. I don't know I don't know why the knight of swords here has got quite a courageous feeling to it because of the movement and because of the mental the mental bits between the sword cards are basically mirrored here in both of them so somebody's made a decision to move through their life um, with what I feel is a difficult period with courage that's what I'm getting initially in their thoughts pile and because we're looking at thoughts and feelings for you I'm wondering whether that is past relationships and just moving on from something or in a difficult period. You've got lovely cards behind with the Sun card, the Nine of Pentacles. The first time I read this, because I've gone through it halfway through it already, this is a feeling of seeing you as being almost like bright and rebellious. Because of the little child here with no clothes and on the horse, and the horse being what I guess is movement here, there's something quite different about you. You've got energy that radiates, it literally radiates. And people do have different types of energy. Some people give out and give out and give out. And um, most of us tend to sit in the middle. And then there's others that tend to, yeah, I'm going to go with this because it is true. There are others that can suck it dry. <laughs> there are other people who find it difficult to find an even footing in life and feel that if they pull in other people's energy, it'll make them feel better. And that is, you know, that is life anyway. The Nine of Pentacles here makes, again, has got a fantastic feeling of being self-contained. So to have those two together, to be open, to be warm and to be giving, and also not to need anybody else is um, something this part this person can't refuse. And I think mentally, that's what they've said to themselves. You're not going to find people like this very often. And that is, is really complimentary. I also said in the first pile that I watched the Robbie Williams documentary at the weekend. And I, there was like four parts, like four hours long. And there was one particular part that I thought I really, that really got me. There's a bit where he's looking at his future wife's, well, actually they probably are husband and wife by this time, looking at a picture of her dancing on a bow. And of course I'm running off looking at her astrology charts. But he just said that was the, you know, not at the moment. You could just see that she's just got so much spirit. That is this pile here. You've got spirit. You don't need anybody. You're independent and you, you give out your energy just because, you know, you know that it's basically the more you give out, the more it gets fed through you. The secret life, that one. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Lover's card, absolutely fantastic. Love this combination together. The Ace of Pentacles... Um, as a feeling of wanting to practically move this forward in life, the lover's card is wanting to move forward in a romantic relationship with you. So that's what I got. This person has mentally, so this is their thoughts pile, remember, made a decision, you're the best I'm ever going to say, I want to move forward with you. You're the best. Okay, so their feelings pile is slightly complicated because when I'm looking at the feelings pile, I'm looking for 
circles like the lovers, I'm looking for cups. You haven't got cups here. So this is why I'm thinking, because this is so complimentary to you, wanting this movement, this romantic feeling, this viewing you in, you know, with really sort of golden goggles, I made that up, you know, it is very nice. But here you've got heavy ace of pentacles. Their feelings are almost, because they're reflected here with the six of swords and the ace of pentacles here, six of swords here, it's like their feelings are, yeah, the heart listens to the head. And I find this really difficult to understand because I feel that I'm the complete opposite. Not always, a bit, bit of both, but I know lots of people like this. And I have to sort of like, oh yeah, okay, just watching them. It's like, well, that, this is the type of person will say, this relationship fits, an earthy feeling, I suppose. This relationship fits in my life, so it will work. Uh, you know, we can make this work. This person's done the same. The Ace of Pentacles, this person is going to move me forward. This person's going to make me feel, or going to make my life feel bigger. We've got potential here with the two Aces here. The Six of Swords, and it's much needed in my life, is what this person's saying. So these are their feelings. Yeah, difficult to translate for me. You've got here the two of pentacles, disguise three, which I think is very naughty. I haven't made these illustrations because it gets me every time. And the eight of pentacles down here. This is like a decision to put an effort into a relationship. So I'm looking at their feelings. They're still quite mental. It's like a very grounded. So if you're really earthy, this is fine for you. Um, it's like a really grounded decision to move forward with you. And the world card here and the six of this is like moving forward. The world card is putting an end to what I feel something that hasn't served them in the past, a relationship or how they're viewing life. Maybe their life feels a bit sort of sober and they want to move forward in a way that has this energy that you tend to have around you. You know, you've got, there is spirit there is what I would say. And that's, that's probably the best compliment I think anybody could ever have. You know, when somebody says that you've got spirit, isn't that lovely? You've got spirit. Here <laughs> we go. Um, the world card here is, to me, is like making a change from these ones that reflected in both piles. It's putting it to a full stop. The six of pentacles is meeting you how you meet them. It's sharing themselves. Look, these marbles. They're not marbles, but look, they're shining. It's like this person wants to shine like you, like the sun. So, and that has a lot to do with attraction. So if this is their feeling pile, it's I want to... This is going to sound like Jungle Book. I want to be like you. Ooh, ooh. Shoo, boop, be doo. <laughs> so that's what I've got here. So I'm going to start pulling this together now. Their thoughts for you versus their feelings. Their thoughts are, this can work. What a star. What a beautiful person. They could make my life come alive. I want to move forward with them in a very close relationship. Their feelings are exactly the same. Their feelings are, I need to do this the same. This is a very rational person. I'd love to see their charts to see if it's all basically lots of earth in there. But this person is, I'm, is genuinely, I want to put a lot of effort in with you to so that I end up sharing your time and hopefully your energy rubs off on me. So, difficult one for me to read because... They are very, I guess, very rational minded. But this person has made a very strong decision. You're the one. I want to move forward. I want to share myself with you. I want to spend time with you. <clears throat> because when you get people with this energy, <clears throat> excuse me, and I would say this to anybody, you know, when you get somebody with a sun energy, don't let them go. Don't let them go. They are precious, these people. You know, this, the independence, to not want anything from anybody and just to give out is somebody that's got energy, this is you, flowing through them naturally. And that is, yeah, one of the secrets of life. So thoughts versus feelings, excuse me, versus feelings in here, very little difference, very complimentary, very positive, very future orientated, very much a healing pile in here, wanting to heal themselves. Um, not a feeling of wanting to pull energy from you, but recognising that um, you're fun, that you're somebody they want to spend time with, and they know that will naturally heal them just by being with somebody who hasn't got hang-ups, or, you know, basically puts the hang-ups to the back the back storage shelf or whatever you call it. So I'm going to leave that there, pile number one. Thank you very much. Bye.
Oh, don't forget to check out my website. I put readings out on Sunday night. The website's halupu.co.uk. Bye. Pile number two. <laughs> this is one of these piles I think, oh no, this is difficult. This has got a strong feeling about it. It wouldn't surprise me if there was um if if there was somebody else in this relationship, if there was like more than two people. Um it wouldn't surprise me, not saying that is the so, but it's like there is a feeling of that in here. Let me just get going with this. You've got in the Thoughts pile, that's feelings, this is thoughts pile here. You've got what I guess is a controlled, lusty feeling. If you've got Pluto in your chart, quite hefty, um, then you may like this feeling. If you haven't, you may, f if you're very sort of straightforward, very, maybe even quite, I don't know, I don't know what, but if you're straightforward and you don't like intensity, you probably think, ah, I'm not into this. Let me explain why I'm saying this. I'm not too sure myself yet. Thoughts pile. The seven of wands is a slightly defensive. So I'm thinking this person's quite controlled. As I'm putting this pile out, I know a family who, and I know the, the well, I know a family who function in a very, very warm, giving way. But I also, they can be very controlling in at times. If you think of like Leo with very strong Pluto, very, very, you know, strong personalities and um, people either love them or hate them, but they can, they've got a bit of a bite to them is what I'm saying here. You know, from the, from the adults right down to the kids, fascinate me, you know, really, really sort of attractive people as in people are very attracted to them. Um, but depending on the anyway it doesn't really matter about that because you've got the devil card over there over here and um, the seven of wands the devil card to me is somebody who likes intensity who is pulled into to intensity feeling very strong feelings but also is trying to control them because they don't want to feel like they've lost out so that's what i was thinking when i saw those it reminded me of people that i know um yeah, really, and really, that no, really fascinates me. The Hierophant card and the Empress card behind, to me, makes me think that you are somebody who's very attractive, you know, either physically or attractive, or just that type of person who is at ease with themselves. And this person can smell. This is almost, this is a bit like a Bella Lugosi, I know. Um, and the Hierophant card here is, again, your, to me, the Empress card and the Hierophant card is like a mother and my mother energy but can also because but that's like tradition and that's convention to me and the empress card here is motherhood so you could function in a way that's very much above board you don't really play games is what i'm thinking this person senses that in you so there's a sense of what i guess is a conformity isn't the word it's like natural it's like natural um a natural ability not to sway things too much and very very at ease with yourself so this has got a bit of a naughty feeling here the two of swords here is this has got a blockage feeling and the two of swords to me can often be decisions but with the seven of wands here there's a feeling of them being slightly blocked the devil card here is why they're blocking their thoughts about you or basically trying not to let the energy in what's happening is it's having a reverse effect the devil card is they're becoming more interested more um attached to you and trying harder and harder to not be because i don't know whether they, they sniff that you may not be of the same energy or not i don't know the ace of pentacles is still wanting to make this real wanting to move it forward so a really interesting pile here which is very difficult for me to try and interpret with regards to the question because that is like a reading on its own if you could add on to that it's it's awesome. It's a calculated. Excuse me. It's got a calculated feel to it, to, for me, to me. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the feelings pile over here. 
Their feelings are, have got what I guess is, again, the chariot card to me is a card of control. The seven of pentacles here is seeing how it goes, seeing how the relationship grows and seeing how they can get closer to you. Seeing you, this is similar to pile number one as well. Sorry, that just clicked off. I'm going to keep going and I hope that it's recorded. The nine of cups here with the little golden egg and the eight of wands, again with the devil card over here, their feelings are almost, I'm going to put Eros here, there's an Eros feeling, Eros basically blinds you with what I guess is a feeling of overexcitement and a physical attraction and it's it's a bit, again this has got a plutonic feeling about it all over to be honest, it can be a bit blind, it can be blinding, sorry I said that word already haven't I, it can make you feel like you're not acting as you normally do so this person, I feel their feelings towards you are very sexual, very intense, um, very much wanting. But there's a control issue going in here with their thoughts. The Eight of Cups here is a difficult card to have with somebody who is trying to control themselves, trying to nurture the relationship, to grow it. Thinking here that they're never going to find anybody like you who they're so attracted to, physically attracted to. I don't know what it is about you, whether it, and sometimes it can just be between two people. Oftentimes it is. It's just it's like a vibration that hooks in, isn't it? And it, you don't even know it until you're with that person. You know, you can even look at pictures five years before and think, well, that's not really my type. And then, boom, this person's very much into you. The Eight of Cups here is emotionally trying to walk, walk away. So I don't know whether that you've basically come to some, I'm going to say impasse or impasse. I always say impasse, but I'm trying to be posh. Um, I think it is impasse. Um where you've separated or you haven't seen each other for a while here. The Three of Pentacles moving forward. This is the card that made me think, because of the tension behind this, that there could be other people involved. But the Three of Pentacles, let me put some more cards on that. And to be honest, with the sexual feel here, there could even be some suggestion of, you know, multiple partners or threesomes. I'm going to say that because of the feel here already. And that card at the end and all those hands holding each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think to myself like an old woman hold on it's physical it's physical and it wouldn't surprise me whether this person with their energy suggests multiple partners or something like that or whether they're still going to move forward even if you're already in a relationship or they are anyway so this is a really interesting pile here what I've got with regards to their thoughts intensity um, what they would like to do mentally is to be, it's like own you in some way, to move forward with you, to get closer to you. But they're, to, what I'm feeling under here, which has got quite a protective feeling towards you, is I feel that they're not going to give as easily as you do because I feel that you're more natural with your energy, that you don't feel like people are going to pull the rug from under your feet all the time. This person, as I said initially with that family, it's been passed down that if they give too much or don't keep their antennae out, they're going to get hurt. And I feel that your person naturally functions like that. But what they want to do is to move forward with you because they feel that in some way there could be some healing component in the way that you, you are naturally. Maybe not the normal energy that they're around. So you'd be good for them, but would they be good for you? I don't know. Um, you've got here with regards to their feeling, somebody, again, who's trying to control themselves, who's falling in love with you here with the seven and the chariot card here. With the eight of wands, they're physically incredibly taken by you. So their feelings are a lot to do with what's going on in their pants with the nine, of, um, the nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Again, to me, the Eight of Cups here is like somebody who pulls out a relationship when it gets too intense, which again is very platonic. The, the more the relationship gets, their feelings get heightened, the less control they think they have, which I'm getting from here, so they pull away. Um, and I feel that this person may possibly, I don't feel this is going to resonate with many people, but only the sexy people. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not, no, I'm, not, no, I'm not serious. The three of pentacles, the knight of wands, they may try and assert their authority or their control over you in a sexual situation with the knight of wands here and the three of pentacles here. With all these arms all over the place, the knight of wands, we all know what knight of wands get, gets up to. So what I've got here, thoughts versus feelings. This has got a lot to do with feelings. This person's not very good with feelings. They feel intensely and then try and protect themselves from it. And I do feel 
from the very beginning this may be a pattern that has been handed down from generations in them it's just the way that they've learned how to live what they see in you is somebody who's natural um somebody who is steady there's a feeling of steadiness and there's a feeling of warmth here and what they want you to do to do is lure you lure you over to what i guess is um seedy sexual situation <laughs> yeah, there is a feeling here of using sex as not as a weapon but as a weapon no not as a weapon you they can't control their sexual energy towards you this is all feeling this is all this is not rational this is them you know basically wanting to consume you physically in some way wrong words but great thought um and not being at ease with that and what yeah may try and assert themselves later on maybe pushing it sexually with you i don't know what that means to anybody here so keep boundaries up and why the words unsullied just came into my mind there because this is a little bit sullied and this is unsullied um that's what I've got there. Really interesting pile. They're all in their feelings. They were trying to control their feelings. Their thoughts are trying to be rational, but not even those are very rational. Um, what they're doing is they're pushing and they're pulling. They're playing in a way they don't know how not to. Um, they've fallen for you big time. There's a strong physical draw here and they feel out of control. So there's a lot. Of, yeah, that's what I've got. I could repeat myself, but I think that's quite clear. Feelings, feelings, feelings. And not somebody who's really controlled with them. So be firm, is what I'd say there. <laughs> I'm going to go. Thank you very much. Um, I bring readings out on Sunday nights. The address is halupu.co.uk if you want to check out. Or check them out. Yeah, I'm going to leave you. Bye. <laughs>here overall without spitting thoughts from feelings is a very very positive um spread here and um, all the cards are positive but there's something here that i don't understand and this is like the next step there's something in their thoughts and their feelings both tend to get to very positive and then come to a well, what do i do with this type of feeling with this card and this card here on both sides this is their thoughts let me get going um, you've got the magician card at the beginning. The magician card is somebody that likes to instigate situations, you know, thinks that they've got everything at their sleeve to make things happen, and that's normally what they do. The King of Cups adds to that movement. Sorry, the Knight of Cups adds to that movement with regards to moving romantically towards you. So this person's thoughts are, this is open, this is a possibility, I want to make it move, I've got romantic thoughts towards this person. You've got the Two of Swords down here and the Ten of Cups over here. Hmm. what would that be there are thoughts in here that this person already is an emotional situation that's difficult to move away from which is possibly why it's difficult to move forward and why i couldn't interpret these two cards which are moving forward and i had to put an extra one down here the ten of cups is an emotional connection whether it's they've got children whether it's they've um they're committed elsewhere, whatever that is, you know, whatever that means to you. I don't know as yet. Because that the ten is an accumulation, the cups are emotions, you've got kids whizzing around here. So the two of swords down here, behind them, they may have commitments, and that is where the blockage may come. Hence why you've got the two of swords here moving forward for the feelings pile. Don't know as yet, I'm going through it. The six of wands, again, is like somebody, and this is the thoughts pile, and to be honest, in the thoughts pile, it's making me feel like feeling, not thoughting. So there's a, there's a feeling here of somebody who is more emotive, um, more, less rational with regards to how they live their life. And the six of wands is that confidence. Maybe they've got some fire in them and water that likes to be seen, that likes to play, that, you know, is very much taken by you, mentally taken by you. They see, they're, it's like a, being in love and putting an aftershave type of feeling. Or, you know, let's just say you don't normally brush your hair or 
you don't normally um you know dress in fine clothes and all of a sudden this person is dressing in fine clothes and brushing their hair and wearing aftershave <laughs> there's that feeling in here so I, mean, I switched that so i don't know you know what what exactly they do and then there's this is complicated Sorry, the Eight of Cups is emotionally moving away from some commitment, I feel, here, because they. this is okay. This is the overall feeling of this pile. Their thoughts on you are almost like a teenage falling in love, where they aren't thoughts, they're all feelings. It's like, I'm all in, this person makes me feel fantastic, I've got commitments elsewhere, or this is tying me down, but I'm trying to ignore it. What I want to do is just experience, you make me happy, um, you make me giddy, you make me feel sexy, you make me feel seen, you make me change my underwear, you know, it's that type of feeling in here. Very complimentary to you, very, um, what's the word? It's not... It's not sensible. It's the complete opposite to what sensible it actually is. It's it's emotionally flamboyant and in, and basically riding with it. So that's what I've got there. Over here, you've got their feelings. <laughs> yeah, I know you've just had them. The life force energy, that's a really good card to have there because I was talking in the other piles that, um, you know, with regards to feelings and energy that flows through us, the more that we feel, the more that we experience, the more creative you are, the more that you get out, the more that energy um, is siphoned through you. And it's like opening a plug. If you block, I assume in Chinese medicine, it'd be called stagnant qi, wouldn't it? This is the opposite. So this person has not got stagnant qi. They have their the plug open and everything's flowing through. So the Wheel of Fortune here with regard to their feelings is game on. Let's move. This person's for me. Let's get going. I can see us on holiday in Paris. I can see us here. I can see us having kids. This is going to be fun. Um, a very, very... The more stoic people around would probably think, oh my Lord, what's going on? If they could see this person acting or talking about you. Um... The Ace of Cups here and the Action of Cups here again. You've got the Knight of, this is the Knight of, you can see the little horse here, is the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. This person's fallen. feels like it's almost like the fire movement and the neptune falling and i've seen kids with sagittarius not kids but they're like well they are really they're about 15 16 um, in action and to see them in i've i've seen them in classrooms um and they're just they're just really really funny you know this type of person that you know just standing up doing the electric boogaloo in the middle of a class um, they've just got a lot of energy. It's very much, I don't really care what people think and I'm feeling it. So this is me and I'm showing it. When you go out at night out with this type of person, you don't see them for dust. And they leave you standing there getting the bus on your own at two o'clock in the morning. Um, but it's just like I'm in the moment. This is fun. And I want to keep it going. I want to keep it moving with these cards here. But there's something between the pair of you which stops this here. And this is why I'm looking at these two cards because the two of swords goes back here with this two of swords here and you've got this commitment here i don't feel your person particularly enjoys commitments that much they want to be in the moment they want to be with you they want to be playing with you falling with you and you know just generally making plans and excitement and you know there's a lot of gushy energy in here very sort of exciting very giddy very sort of taken away I would get taken away with this <laughs> I've just said that too quickly haven't I it's just because it feels like fun in the moment okay so to separate here their thoughts about you are very similar to their feelings and their feelings overpower everything their feelings are um potential movement falling in love romantic basically gestures abound in their head you know this I could do this I could do this I could take them there 
Um, but there's some blockage to do with what I guess is some commitment, which is basically bursting the bubble in this. And I don't know what that is. And that's the need to walk away from this so that they can feel alive. And that's what they would say they feel alive. This has almost got... It's... This is like a great night out feeling. It's that, you know... It's a great night, night out feeling of somebody who likes to feel heightened. And I'm trying to put this in rather than talking about drugs and alcohol. But there is that sort of somebody who's high on love and attraction and, you know, Ace of Cups. The, and this is your feelings pile and the Knight of Cups. Very much taken by you, very excited by you. So I'll start concluding here. Um, I'm just going to talk about their feelings because their thoughts don't... I don't think they have thoughts. <laughs> I think they just feel... Um, this person is excited by you, wants to move it forward, feels that this has got great potential, wants to be in the moment, wants to experience, wants to, um, to show you how romantic they are. They want to express their feelings to you. Um, they want you to basically give them promises of where else this can go, but still adding to the excitement. The last thing this person wants is for you to put a full stop on it or to bring them down to earth. This person is n not very earthy in that sort of, as I said earlier, very sort of stoic way where people tend to, if it doesn't make sense, it's not happening. This person doesn't care. <laughs> but there is something that is stopping them moving forward. And I don't know what that is. I don't know whether there's commitments elsewhere. Hence why um, it's a little bit stilted at the moment, maybe with the two of swords here. But this this is it's difficult for me to explain without being um, I try to say that sort of Sagittarius Neptune feeling that I sometimes get when I see people where it's like game on let's have fun who cares about tomorrow this is what they, this is them in their feelings for you it's let's play let's laugh let's have sex let's you know it's all that in here it's fantastic feeling because there's always a calm down isn't there Uh, yeah, this is lovely. This is like a merry-go-round. It's like a circus. It's like fun. Get stuck in. Enjoy it. If you're very much like that, you'll enjoy this. Um, but I don't know what's stopping you. So thoughts versus feelings. No thoughts at all. All in their feelings. Hopefully I've explained that in some way. I'm going to love you and leave you, pile number three. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. If you would like a reading, please check out my website, halupu.co.uk. I put new readings out on Sunday. Um, yeah, normally every Sunday. If I'm totally full, then occasionally I don't put any out, but most of the time I do. Thank you very much. Bye.